<clears throat> Hi guys, so I am just waiting for Denise to connect to us and so today, hey, hey, that was quick. <laughs> I know, I was just thinking that even though I've done so many of these, I'm always amazed that it actually works and until, <laughs> we, until we actually connect, I'm always a little bit nervous. Yeah, so, well, actually, I even I had to Google how to start an Instagram live because I've never done it. So I'm like, oh, my God, I don't even know how to do this. Like, two minutes before I was like. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, as usual, you are on time. So that's fantastic. So yeah. I'm so happy that we got to do this. I know. Um, so let's tell everyone who you are, and then I'll say yeah. who I am. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> so I'm Denise Ryan, and I am the Vice President of Brand Management. And I just realized that the light's a little bit funky in here. I am the Vice President of Brand Management for Saloma Light Therapy. We are the global manufacturer of um, the award-winning Saloma series of light therapy devices. And you oh, are. Yes, that's it. <laughs> um, I am Alexina. Um, I am a model. And I actually had a really bad flare but with acne last year. And so this is how it all started for me. And I went to a dermatologist and he used LED light therapy. And he told me about Saluma and how it was dermatologist approved. And that's how I connected with you and became a Saluma fan too, about Thank a year you. ago. Great, great. So a couple of things I want to say right up front is that, first of all, we don't pay you to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. This is an authentic story of your acne journey. And I just want to say too that for me, given what you do, I think it's incredibly brave of you and really nice and sweet of you to want to come on and share with others so others can benefit from your experience. You don't have to do this, but it's a really nice, it's just a nice gesture on your part. So I thought that was really nice. Mm -hmm. As a company, we don't pay celebrities or influencers to talk about our products. So when I saw your interview with your dermatologist, um, one of the things I saw was missing was a real sort of in-depth understanding of the technical aspects of how light therapy works and how it worked to treat your acne. And I thought, oh, that would be really great. But I didn't know you and I wasn't connected with you in any way. Um, so I thought it was, again, really nice of you to want to share your story. But also I'd like everybody listening in to know that this is an authentic, not paid for endorsement it's just your story coming from your heart because you care enough to want to share that so i really think that's important and you and i never spoke until monday of this week and one of the things that i i was really pleased about as a very busy professional i was really pleased that you understood the concept of time and responsiveness because that's kind of our commitment to the world as a company as well we care about everybody we touch so we always respect people's time. And you know, you know, you answer your emails quickly, your phone, your texts, and it's like it's just been really nice to have this time to get to know you and work with you. Thank you. It's good to meet you too and get to Thank know you. you. Um but I was I was even saying like to a friend the other day, because a lot of people have been asking me about the Saluma. When I did the video last year on my acne journey, a, pe a lot of people asked me if the Saluma actually works and you know, because they have other face brands. And I was saying that even before I bought the Saluma, I bought just like an Amazon one. And it wasn't doing exactly what the dermatologist like was doing. And so I asked him like, okay, I need a, like an even stronger one. Like I was in such a place where my face, it was making me depressed and I wouldn't leave the house and I wouldn't like leave and leave my bedroom. My mum bought my food to me. And it got to a point where I was like, I don't care. I just need to buy something that's going to like really blast it. And I really noticed the difference between the Amazon one and the Saluma and how good the Saluma was and how it penetrated my skin so well. So I was going to ask you how 
what's the difference between the Sonoma and then what you can buy off Amazon or anything? Oh, or? sure, sure. It's a great question. Well, first of all, we should probably give Dr. Philippe a shout out. I don't know if he's listening today, but yeah. um, I had never met him either. Um, and I'm, I'm so pleased that he recommended our brand. Um, there aren't too many brands available that are actually LED light therapy devices that are actually categorized as medical grade devices. And that's one of the differences. And you would not know that just shopping for an LED device on Amazon. But that is a huge differentiator right there. Because when your device goes through the medical authorities and gets approved for certain indications for use, they review for efficacy so, that, so, it wor so, they can, so it, you can say it actually works for a particular condition. And also for safety, because we want to make sure that in the hands of a non-professional, especially somebody non-trained and using it at home, that it will be safe in their hands and not harm them in any way, not be, you know, damage them in any way that might be possible with a uncontrolled device. Our device is very controlled. We're sold in 78 countries. All of those uh, countries have their own medical device approval authorities, and we have to pass a lot of regulations. So that's one of the differences. So the other difference is that in order for a device to be effective, there's a lot of very complicated technical parameters that need to be adhered to. Mm -hmm. And it's really both expensive and difficult to build a good LED device. It's not a matter of just throwing some lights on a, on a circuit board and hoping it works. You know, sometimes I tell people that if you're not buying a medical grade LED device, there's potential that you're buying something off Amazon or elsewhere that could literally be the same as Christmas tree lights, which oh, are wow. just little bulbs that have colored glass over them. You won't know what you're getting. So you okay. need those specific parameters. They're quite technical, but you need a certain range of, of um, energy available for absorption by the cells. And it's the energy that's absorbed by the cells that changes the fundamental mechanism of action within the cell. So it changes how the cell is performing and what it's doing. And in the case of um, acne, the blue wavelength in the machine is actually causing what we call a phototoxic event that causes the bacteria that causes the acne to die. So it's, um, so again, if you're just getting any old device and it doesn't have the correct wavelength that's being output at the correct energy level and also something that can get close enough to the skin so the skin absorbs the maximum amount of energy, then you won't get all of the benefits that you got obviously from Saloma, including killing the um, acne bacteria. Okay. Yeah. Um, so and I know you have different settings on it, and I'll show them. Um, this is the American one. So you do have, on mine you have acne and wrinkles. Um, and so if you put it on wrinkles, do you still have the blue light emitting for the acne or is it purely just for wrinkles? You do. No, it's not actually. So depending on the type of acne, most times you will choose the acne program. But if you have a very severe flare up of a more cystic type, type acne, you might be get, better going with the red dominant program. And that in the US is called wrinkles, but in the UK and the rest of the world, it's simply called red light. And that's because both the red and the blue light are actually required in order to treat all of the symptoms of acne. So you want to kill the P. acne bacteria. The blue light does that. It has a particular molecule within the bacteria that absorbs the blue light and causes that phot phototoxic event to occur. So now we've handled the bacteria, but you're also left with depending on the severity of the acne, you can be left with some very nasty lesions inflammation, um, pustules, and if, if, as you experienced, a situation that can be very depressing and very, and very difficult to deal with. As you said, many people don't even want to leave their home. Yeah, so yeah. you want to also, in combination with the blue, have a red light uh, wavelength being emitted. So we, we see wavelengths as colors. So some people call them colors, but they're actually uh, wavelengths. So the red wavelength is responsible for a lot of the other aspects of controlling acne. So the red will increase microcirculation. So when you do that in the area, you're bringing more nutrients and more oxygen to the area to generate new healthier cells and new healthier tissue. Mm -hmm. It also helps fibroblasts 
to um, generate more collagen and elastin, that's going to help with potential prevention of scarring. Because if you have really bad acne, you can end up with acne scarring. So the production increase in collagen and elastin will help give you a smoother skin texture and tone, as does the uh, proliferation of the keratinocytes, which are also responsible for a nice um, uh, skin tone, texture, and quality. The other huge part of and that's a component that's really important with red light is the ability of the red light to reduce the redness and inflammation. Maybe that's the most important thing when dealing with acne because that redness and inflammation is what's visible to the world and to yourself in the mirror. So when you can knock back that redness and reduce the inflammation in combination with increasing collagen and elastin production and killing the P. acne bacteria, you have everything you need to get acne under control. And it does it really, really well. This is something that's proven for decades already. But again, the combination of red and blue, sometimes you'll go on Amazon and you'll see a blue light device for treating acne, but if it, the, you really need the combination of the red and blue to really, to really do a great job. Yeah, okay. Um, and how long would you guys um, say to put it on every day or how long in the day? Because Philippe told me to do 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night when it was really bad, my acne. But yeah. even now, I, I'm, I'm very lucky because my skin is getting good again. I have the one or two cystic now. But I use this, the red light, like half an hour at night time. Yeah. So if you're using it for a half an hour at night time, you probably never need to do any, anything else. The um, official protocols are two to three times a week for, for mild to moderate acne. But I think everybody has to look at their own situation. And light therapy will never harm you. So it's not like you can overdose on it. It's simply providing energy to cells that are under-functioning and helping them do what they do. So it's just going to reduce the inflammation. If the inflammation is all gone and there's no more inflammation to reduce, then it's not going to do anything. It's just where you have issues. It only helps in those, in those areas. So as far as usage, as I said, you cannot overdose. Do you need to use it morning and night? Maybe, maybe not. If you own your own, why not? It will jumpstart any healing process. Um, in the case of Saloma, because the acne program and even the red light program have such, um, in the case of the acne, it's blue light dominant. So that's a good place to start because we want to make sure we're getting the bacteria under control. And there's enough red light in there to start decreasing that inflammation and redness that's associated with the lesions. And even the red light will help the fibroblasts migrate to close the lesions because you want to do that and help them heal faster. Okay. And so that's a, that's a great program to start with. When you get it under control, and it sounds like you've migrated to doing this yourself without even having been told, the wrinkles or the red light program is more mostly red light but it still has a lot of blue. So if there's a tendency for that bacteria to come back again, the blue in that program is going to help you control it. So honestly, you are absolutely on the perfect maintenance program. Mm -hmm. um, I saw one of your YouTube videos during the week and it said that you were using it every morning and every night. And I was like, this girl is completely committed. <laughs> yeah. You are so motivated. <laughs> well, it was funny because my dermatologist said to me, I'll know if you're committed because you'll do what I tell you to do. And he was like, yeah. okay, you're, you're doing it all perfectly. I'm like, I want this gone. Like, I need to do something. So I was like, on it. <laughs> yes, so you're motivated. I often tell practitioners that a lot of their success depends on the motivation of their clients or their patients. Mm -hmm. And if you don't stick with any protocol, like if you're going to the gym and you know that you should be going two or three times a week and you go once a month, you're never going to see those results. And, and, and like anything else, especially with, with the kind of flare up that you had, I saw, I honestly didn't see the pictures till this week. Cause as I said, we never spoke until this week when we yeah. knew we were going to do this. And I was absolutely surprised at the, at the, at the level of that breakout. That was a really, really bad one. And again, I really commend you for your bravery as a, as a beautiful Victoria's Secret model to put <laughs> that out there to the world. I mean, it's, yeah. again, it's courageous. Thank it's you. kind of you to want to help other people. So um, I'm still answering that question of um, frequency. If I, what I often tell people is if you're not as motivated as Alexina, 
try to at least do once you get your whatever condition it is that you're trying to get under control once you get it to a maintenance level at least try to stick with it twice a week twice a week will give you your energy or your cells enough energy to be responding for several days after the treatment so uh, uh, two to three times a week is, it means your energy your cells are always responding to some level of input from from the saloma device if you're super motivated and you have a bad situation like you did to get under control, certainly you can do it morning and night. You really don't need to alternate between the acne and the wrinkles program. Stick with one or the other. Starting out for acne, I would stick with the blue. And then maybe three weeks or a month later, when you, have, when you start to see things under control, less breakouts, but you still have the, the, um, the, the redness and the, and, the, and the pimples and the lesions and the blemishes, then it's a good time to probably uh, switch to the red dominant program. Yeah. Okay. You did um, a great job. You did a great job <laughs> all by yourself. Yeah, well, I think I was just messing around with it at the beginning. And then I, was, I told you on Monday when we had a phone call about what we were going to talk about today. And I was said to you that for me, the red light even seems stronger than the blue light. When I put the red light on me, I can feel heat penetrating my skin and I right. didn't you know right. in the dermatologist's office it's the same thing with theirs but with the Amazon one I had before the saloon I didn't feel anything so it's like oh this really works but yeah well there's a potential I don't know the device that you had there is a potential it wasn't even emitting red or blue wavelengths yeah I don't know that Just the light maybe <laughs> the difference between what you might experience with the red versus the blue is that the red is actually affecting tissue at a much deeper level. So blue is very, very superficial. It's not capable of penetrating below really the surface of the skin, but it does kill the acne bacteria. That's its sole value really when it comes to treating acne. But the red wavelengths go be beneath what we call the epidermis into the dermal layer, and that's where all of those other issues in your skin reside, the cause of the inflammation, the lack of microcirculation, everything else, the fibroblasts, they all reside in the dermal layer. And that's actually up to eight millimeters below the surface of your skin. So that, that is the difference, is that you're getting an effect that's reaching much deeper into the, into the skin. That warmth that you feel is actually not the mechanism of action with a medical grade light therapy device. That is just um, some warmth that's generated from the resistors on the circuit board on the device. It feels nice, yeah. but it's not, actually, it's not actually doing a whole lot to help with skin conditions. It okay. doesn't do any harm. It certainly feels good. It's super relaxing. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, I also put like my, my calm app on and um, meditation. I'm like, oh, it's like hot. Because the, I don't know if people know this, but the timer on is set to half an hour, isn't it? 30 minutes? Yeah, yeah. Which is really good. So you can just lay there with it over and, yeah, I really enjoy it. It's like calming. <laughs> it is. It's, it's very calming. So while we don't claim to have a, uh indication to treat uh, 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 anxiety or anything like that, mm -hmm. there are studies that have shown that um, the light that's emitted from in the in the red wavelengths has the ability to increase serotonin production. So that's that happy hormone that we all love and helps us relax. So okay. that's 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 likely the cause of our relaxation when we're under um, a good LED light therapy device. Okay. I use I, certainly a lot of people use theirs to help them go to sleep at nighttime. Oh wow! Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, I thought also we would touch on, because you also have many different devices, but you have one that's also for pain and, is it for pain? Yes. Um, so the, I think you have a two mode uh, device. Yes. You probably yes. have the face. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, that's a two mode. It's actually one of our smaller panels. We have two sizes. We have the larger, what we call more of the professional size panel, and the smaller one. So um, we have one, two, and three mode devices. So you have the, a two-mode device. One, you've got the uh, anti-aging, wrinkle setting, red light, which is also um, clear and indicated outside of the U.S. for wound healing. And then it's got the acne program, of course. But our three-mode devices have a pain program. 
and it's um, they're very effective for treating pain. The mechanism of action is very similar to even treating wrinkles, believe it or not. It's reducing inflammation, increasing circulation, and that helps attenuate a lot of pain conditions. Um, the U.S. military actually use a Salome to treat pain, and I also say if we can help our injured warriors um, and veterans from uh, the kind of injuries that they've experienced, I think it's a real testimonial to the quality and the effectiveness of the device. Yeah, no, it's true, yeah. it is. Um, yeah, because I had a, a makeup artist who suffers um, with pain in her joints, mm -hmm. and she was asking me about the Sonoma because she was actually even looking into the, you know, the big one you have that covers the whole body? Yes, uh, the whole body. So she was asking me about that, so I was like, oh, I'll cover yeah. it in the Instagram live with Denise. Yeah, so. oh, okay. I hope, can listen. I hope she's listening in. Um, yeah. So send, send Alexina some hearts if you're on there. <laughs> uh, so it's, uh, that's the Saloma Deluxe. So for, we've been around about 10 years. And from the very beginning, people that, people that own a Saloma get completely obsessed and addicted to it. So from the very beginning, people are asking us for a way to treat their whole body. And um, some people would just put multiple devices on different parts of their body at the same time. But everybody's like, it'd be so convenient if we just had one thing that could treat the body. So eventually we came up with the Saloma Deluxe, which is more like a, you use it like a weighted blanket. So you can tell your friend she would lay under it. And the nice thing about this the, it, uh, is that it tucks away in a wardrobe or in the back of a door. It comes with an over-the-door hanger. Yeah. But just, just like our... Um, professional devices, it has three modes as well. So it has all the same programs, same power output, same wavelength, same efficacy, but you can treat head to toe, which yeah. is really fantastic for people that have systemic um, joint issues, or even talking about acne, even for people yeah, that have severe real. back acne, exactly. Yeah. Um, so that's a good way to, in, in the same length of time, you can get the body treated from head to toe. So that's a really, really nice, nice option. Yeah, ah, yeah, okay. and yeah. and then I was gonna say because uh, actually it's funny because I was on, on the phone with a company today, and it was only an automated um, call, and I remember and I remember thinking with Saluma it's not automated; it's someone answering the phone, and for me <laughs> that is so important. I was like having a real person, and then actually explaining it to you, and like because it Saluma for a lot of people is expensive, but it's worth it. Like. Everyone who's asked me, like, oh, but it's not, like, $50. I'm like, no, but if you're really invested in your skin or your pains, I'm yeah. like, it's an amazing product. And, I'm, and I, I, I said to everybody, I bought my saloon myself even before I knew you or anyone, and, mm -hmm. and it's really changed yeah. everything. And just having, knowing you're spending that much money into a product, but also that you get one-on-one -on -one help with it and everything, it really, like, makes the experience a whole lot better. Well, thank you. We are very proud of that. That's actually a core belief within our philosophy in the company, that we would always be re remain a company that would you could reach a real person. So we never had an automated phone system. We always have a real person answer the phone. And we feel that everybody, everybody from the packaging, inspection, how the, the product looks coming out of the box, that everybody should, every aspect of it should be user friendly, and that if you have any questions, you can reach back to us with either an email or a phone call, whatever is convenient for you. But mm -hmm. we have on hand from 7 in the morning to 5 p.m. Pacific time, we have somebody to answer your questions. And whether you're a private individual like you or a doctor or any kind of practitioner, you get assigned. You may not know this, Alexina, but you get assigned a clinical specialist that's devoted to answering your questions. So if you were to call today, even mm -hmm. if you didn't know who your uh, clinical, because when you're not in the UK where you are now, I think yeah. you normally reside in New York. Yes. So our specialist for the New York area is Chelsea. I think she's on here listening today. Mm -hmm. So if you call today and you didn't know to speak with Chelsea, our receptionist would say, where are you located? And once we know where you reside or where you're located, you're then put through to that specialist. Now, there is a possibility that you could get her while she's on the phone, but she will call you right back. That's the kind of promptness and responsiveness that we're well known for. And I have to say, 
I don't think anybody has actually called that out like in a in this kind of a situation before. But we always thought it was hugely important, and it's really gratifying to know that that was so um, such an important element to because you'd already purchased the device. Yeah, yeah, already. Yeah, I I, already, I, I ordered it online. It. Yeah, but then I ordered it online, but then someone called me. Yeah, and I remember like it was a, a a number that I didn't know, and I kept declining it, and they kept calling. <laughs> And I asked them, like, hello. They're like, hi, it's the, the Saluma department. I'm like, oh, this is nice. Yeah, it, it, and we actually traced that back. That was Jerry. He's fantastic. <laughs> the, whole, the whole point, even after you bought it, is we always say that's the beginning of the relationship, not the end. We don't yeah. want you to be out there in limbo, not knowing the answers to questions, wondering, you know, how do I do this? Could it be good for this? How long would I use it? So we want you to know that you always have somebody to, to reach back to. And the other thing is, after people have purchased, maybe through our website, one of the things that we wonder about and, and is, have you purchased the right device for your needs? Sometimes people buy the a device they buy is too expensive. They can buy a lesser expensive one, or they may not know that we have devices that also treat pain. And if you would like, you could, we could change your order if that's an, an aspect that really appeals to you. So we give you those options and it really, um, it really ends up with you getting the right device. You have some understanding of how to use it. I know Jerry would, would spend a lot of time, if you needed it, on the phone just answering questions. Yeah. And it's just to make sure that you're really comfortable with your purchase mm -hmm. and you know how to use it. Okay. Yeah. I just read a question I wanted to ask you because I was thinking about it last night. So you know on the device it says uh, Pulse here? Yes. Uh -huh. What does that mean? I've never used it, and I just okay. wonder. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're probably using it and not realizing it. And the reason for that is all of our programs, in your case, there's two programs. When you turn it on and, and hit the start button, as you said earlier, it's timed, so it runs for 30 minutes. It defaults automatically to pulsing. So oh. you probably are using it in the pulsing um, um, program. Okay. If you actually hit the pulse button, it will turn it off. So you have to deliberately turn it off. And the only reason you would turn it off would be if it bothered you. Now, you probably didn't even realize that no, the, no. Normal, the normal way it was running is in the pulse manner. Okay. So and the reason that's there is to, um, according to, as you know, everything we do is based on science. Every parameter that Saluma was designed around is based in good quality, credible, robust, robust research from the top uh, research facilities in the world. And it, when, we, when we were looking at the design of the device, it, we found that in the clinical literature, again, the consensus was that light energy delivered in a pulsed manner seemed to allow the cells to absorb more of the energy over the treatment time. And frankly, it's all about how much energy is absorbed. A lot of companies talk about, oh, we have the most powerful device and it outputs all of this. If the energy is not, if the device is not designed in a way that allows the body to uptake the energy that's being emitted, then the high power is useless. In fact, high power output can actually be detrimental to your cells and can do more harm then good. Mm -hmm. So besides having the correct power output and all of the other aspects that were important, we decided to deliver the energy in a pulsed manner to give the cells that opportunity to absorb even more energy, again, based on what the research was telling us. So we have a default to, to pulsing. If you ever don't like it for any reason, you just turn it off and then it's called just continuous wave delivery so there's no break in how in the in the in the emission of the light okay okay yeah. so you should just try it just to see the difference but it's yeah like, well there's not a huge difference uh, in the end because about the same amount of energy is delivered it's how it's delivered and delivering it in a manner that allows the cells to uptake more of the energy for us it made sense it was more complicated to do that it was more expensive most light again all of the devices pretty much on Amazon are not going to have that extra uh, level of sophistication, mm -hmm. but we just didn't want to skip any steps. We wanted our device to follow all of the parameters for effectiveness and be the most effective device 
LED device in the world. So yeah. that's why that's why there's a pulse button. <laughs> that's good to know because I didn't know that. I've never touched it before. I was just like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And also, do you have a? Um, I don't know if I saw this on your website. Do you have a device that just hits certain spots? Did I see that? Like a little. Yeah. Yes. Uh, wh and and why would you get that instead of a, a face one or whatever? So what I would say, most people buy that either as an entry level one. They're, they'd like to see if they're getting a response with a smaller one, and then they'll go to the panel size you have. Okay. Um, it, it has the same wavelengths, and it even has the pain program. So it's a three-mode device. It's called the Saluma Pod. Um, same wavelength, same power per centimeter squared. So the emission... And the, and, the, and the energy that's available for absorption by the cells is the same. The only difference is the treatment area. It's about the size of the pot. It's about three inches by four. So okay. it's a smaller treatment area. So I would not say, as you want to treat your whole face, it's a good replacement for treating mm -hmm. your face. But I'll tell you when it's really handy. If you're doing an overnight or you're traveling to a, a quick shoot and you don't have room for some reason you're really confined with space and you'd like to have a small handheld saluma just in case you get a little blemish or something happens and you want to hit it right away um it's really handy to have so it's something if i'm not I, I, honestly the saluma panels are so easy to travel with they weigh yeah. less than a pound they're only a half inch thick you can pack them even in your travel bag uh, overnight uh, on a plane it's i do that all the time yeah, me too. It's super easy to travel with them. But honestly, sometimes having the little handheld as a backup, and what I like about it is if something happens, I get a toothache or I get a pimple, which still happens at my age, <laughs> um, or something I want to treat, I can just sit there and I can hold it here and watch TV. So yeah. um, it doesn't, you know, I don't have to lie down and get under it. So it is convenient to have, but it's really a backup for a full-size panel. Yeah. I was actually going to touch on the traveling thing because – um, this is the only mess that I've had where it lies flat because it's a flat device um, yeah. and it travels so easily and even in hand luggage um, yeah. and the last the ones that I've had before it's been always been like a, um, a big face so you've mm -hmm. had to like it's been really, really hard to travel with so this is yeah. excellent for traveling I have to say I yeah. have to it's, it everywhere with me it, yeah even the bigger one um, mm -hmm. which is about eight inches longer than the one you have it's still very convenient to, to travel with. It weighs less than a pound. The plug part that you plug into the wall actually weighs it almost as much. So it's actually, very, easy, very easy to travel with. I just tell, remind people, don't travel with the plug uh, pointing in towards the device. Yeah. Keep it separately. And then just you know put your sweaters and your soft clothes around it to protect it. But there's no problem getting through the uh, transit authorities or anything like that. Um, yeah. I've often traveled in my hand luggage with up to six of them and nobody ever, <laughs> nobody cares. If anybody yeah. asks me, it's just really call it a heating pad because your um, airport authorities won't know what an LED light therapy device is. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also <laughs> saying that uh, when you get your Saluma, which I was really shocked that you did this, but you get the different plugs for the different countries. Mm -hmm. um, oh. that I bet you found that, I bet you found that handy. Yeah, you're the only brand that's ever done that. And I, I was looking like, oh, what are all these plugs for? It's like France and England and the US. I'm like, wow, that's so good because I travel so much and then you don't have yeah. to buy a separate one to plug it into, to plug it into the wall. Yeah, so that's really nice because you always run the danger because I've done this, especially with hair appliances. I'm, I, probably, I think I told you I was born in the UK, so I'm used to the UK, Ireland plugs. But I've sometimes brought my American appliances over, and if you don't have the right transformer, it can burn them out and you lose them. So yeah. the, you never have to worry about that with Saluma because the transformer is built into the, the, the plug that it comes with, and then you just take out the little adapters for the different countries. So you can travel anywhere in the world with Saluma. It has the Australian, New Zealand ones, Asia. You can go anywhere with it, which, of course, given your schedule all over the world for – fashion shoots I'm sure that must be very very convenient you probably use them more than anybody else yeah I do yeah, yeah. it's funny because when I make sure I have the right plug but I, I'm at a point now where I use it all the time every day that if I don't get my 30 minutes in I'm like well I've got to do an hour tomorrow or you know because it's like you said it becomes addictive because you know it does good for your skin yeah it's such a it, difference it, it does I, I said that 20 minutes ago people get yeah. obsessed with their Saloma and then and then they do strange things like leave it at home when they go on a three-week vacation. I'm like, 
Never. Walking, it travels so easily. It's very yes. highly portable. Yeah, yeah, no, I would never live anywhere without you anymore. <laughs> yeah, me neither. And so that, that was one of the real innovations with Saloma. When we were looking at the design 10 years ago, all because you have a professional grade medical device. Mm -hmm. It's not like you compromised because you bought the smaller one, or it's not like you compromised because you bought a device you can use at home. These are the same devices that Harley Street doctors are using. And that yeah. was a real innovation. We were able to take the best of the technology, upgrade it to um, be more versatile, do more, but then eliminate all of the, the big old stands and the, the box and the wheelie thing that it used to wheel around the medical offices in. You don't need any of that. All, the only thing you need is an effective light there, the panel part itself, the canopy. Yeah. That's really all you need. And then it has to be built to the parameters that we talked about earlier. But it makes it so, again, versatile and portable. It's just, it's really convenient. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Do you want to touch on anything else while we're... Well, I think, that, I think that was absolutely fantastic. Again, I wanted, I just really want to thank you for being <laughs> so sweet to share that story. I mean, I think if people look at your YouTube channel, and you should definitely follow Alexina, because there's everything from her out in the woods to fancy <laughs> shoots in uh, Lake Cuomo. It's very fun to watch your, your uh, YouTube channel. But, you know, you're a very honest, authentic person. And that really appealed to me personally. As I said, we love our celebrity clients, but we actually protect them. You don't see us tagging people that we don't have permission to tag. Mm -hmm. um, nobody is being, we don't endorse anybody. Nobody endorses us. Well, they do in this way, but we don't pay people to do yeah. that. It's all authentic and genuine. And one of the things that appealed to me was the authenticity of your story. We will often get celebrities reaching out to us and saying, hey, if you do this, I'll do this. And I was like, but you don't even know Saloma. You're not using it. It yeah. wouldn't be an authentic story. And yours was the opposite. So I want to thank you. And again, congratulate you for keeping your head in these crazy times <laughs> and, for being, and for being an authentic person. I really, that thank impressed you. me. That's so sweet. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Um, do you want to answer some? I know that a lot of people have answered questions already, but there's a few here if you want to. Okay, give well, chance. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. And I apologize. When I set this up about an hour ago, the light was coming in and it was just right. But now I can see I'm in a lot of shadow. Oh, and you, look, you look really good, honestly. Um, well, maybe it's good because when you're <laughs> older, the dimmer light is better. Okay, so let's see if there's any... Um, how about pain management for pets? Okay, well, we didn't talk about that, but yes, Saloma is equally good for, um, and, and a good light therapy device is equally good for humans as it is for animals. Um, animals, I always say, inherently respond to what's good for them. It's like if you put down bad food, your cat or your dog will not eat it. They'll wait for, they'll wait to, for fresh food. They won't poison themselves. And it's the same thing with light therapy. They seem to know, they gravitate to it, they crawl in under it. Um, I know the warmth is probably appealing, but um, we do have veterinarians uh, using the device. It's particularly good on the older pets when they start to get those arthritic joints. And you can tell that they're in some pain, they're not walking well. And it's also fantastic, of course, on pets following any kind of surgery um, to help them heal. And of course, for humans, that also applies. So yeah, it's fantastic for pets. Go okay. for it. So that's the pet question. Um, somebody said amazing results in pets. We agree. How about hair regrowth? So hair regrowth is something that we may have a device for in the future. Um, we can't really say yet. Um, we do a lot of research and studies. And until we we have all of the indications from all of the approved authorities. We will not claim to um, treat um, and stimulate hair, stimulation mm -hmm. and growth. However, um, red light has been used effectively for a long time to uh, stimulate uh, uh, balding, alopecia, those kind of conditions. So there's good, there's good potential there.
Someone just said, is the professional size available to non-professionals? It's available to everybody, right? It is, actually, yeah. yes. So initially, our devices were all prescription only, meaning that you had to, you could only um, avail of them in a practitioner's and a doctor's office. But one of the things that we wanted to do, because it was our goal from the very beginning, was bring an effective device, an affordable device, to the masses because our goal in our own hearts was to help the world heal one saloon at a device at a, at a time. But we had, to, um, we had to go through some extra testing for the, uh, uh, the regulatory authorities that, uh, that required a higher level of um, proof of efficacy and safety. And once we achieved that, we were granted that over-the-counter um, clearance, and that allows anybody at home to use actually any of our devices as well. Um, someone else has put, um, do you have to have clean skin before you use the Saluma? Like, I guess, makeup or... Right, good question. So you can try anything, but of course, if you think about it from just a common sense standpoint, anything you put on your skin has the potential to act as a barrier. So, of course, sunblock is designed to reflect light, so that's not going to work. And a lot of foundation has have minerals in it, and the minerals will deflect the light. But beyond that, um, we see this mostly in practitioners' offices, but this could happen at home as well, where you might put on a mask and then think that putting the light over the device might help in some way, and it really won't. Masks in particular be they jelly masks or opaque masks like a charcoal mask or a clay mask, those will act as a, a complete barrier and completely block the light. So preferably you want to use it on clean, dry, bare skin. So preferably cleanse your skin um, and, then, and then use your light therapy. Now, I noticed your routine, you use some products before bed and then you use it. As long as those products are well absorbed and don't leave a thick residue on your face, you're probably doing just fine. And you're actually proof that you're doing just fine. <laughs> so yeah. I always tell people water-based and well-absorbed into the tissue, um, and that'll only take a few minutes, will we'll be fine. But um, just, just be careful that it isn't very oily or reflective. It's common sense. If it's a real shiny surface, it's going to deflect the light. Yeah. And what we want is to always be treating in a manner that allows the, the maximum absorption of, this, of the uh, energy by the cells because that's what increases the function of the cell and improves the function of the cell. So yeah. we don't want to do anything to inhibit that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Someone else has said, is there a way that you might damage your eyes? Great question. Um, LEDs emit light in what we call an incoherent manner. So no, it will not damage your eyes. However, it does come with um, little eye, um, little eye. We, we provide eyewear with it. Comes with a little string. You don't need the string. If you're lying back, just put the, the, the goggles over your eye sockets. They're very light. You don't even notice them. So what I would say is if you have any kind of an eye condition that you're aware of, um, or even if you're not aware of, use the um, eye, eye uh, protective eyewear just in case. Mm -hmm. If you're in any doubt, ask your eye doctor and and follow their advice there's never been any reported cases of led lights from led devices particularly medical grade which has met safety standards um, causing any kind of harm mm -hmm. so um, always proceed with caution until you know how your eyes are going to respond i have very light eyes i have never used the eyewear but i don't saying. that's yeah that's just from me you yeah. have to make your own decision based on what we tell you, follow the guidelines in the instruction manual, and as I said, if you're in any doubt at all, um, speak with a doctor. Now, lasers are different. They are emitting light energy also, but they deliver coherent light, so it's much more um, focused in a particular direction, so you never want to go under a laser machine of any kind or look directly into a laser because it's that could damage... Um, the, the eyes so just be careful with that okay uh, another one would the saluma help with scalp dermatitis so um i'm going to tell you a personal story on that one because i had scalp dermatitis and it was terrible and i had it for i'd say 20 years and wow. within so what happened was i started to use saluma and after about three weeks 
maybe I was probably only using it twice or three times a week. After about three weeks, I noticed it was gone and I, I didn't associate the two. And yeah. then I moved houses and I stopped using my Salome. It kind of disappeared out of my sight for about three months. And after about three weeks, the dermatitis was back. And I was thought, maybe there's a connection, but you have to try again. So I tried it again and I used it. And three weeks later, lo and behold, it was gone again. And it's never come back. And that's, you know, it could have been a change in diet or environmental issues. But honestly, I'm pretty sure it was um, the Saloma. Um, we don't have an indication to treat that. Um, that would be considered off-label. Again, I always tell people to um, be guided by your um, physician on yeah. anything like that because we can't claim to treat your scalp conditions. But that's my own personal story. That's what happened. Okay. Um, a question I have as well. Someone said, will this help with a scar from an injury on my face as well as for acne? Um, I was also going to tie that in also to ask you about wrinkles because I know a lot of people buy the Saloma for wrinkles. Why? Yes. And do you, what's the scientific evidence that you have with the Saloma and wrinkles and how much the wrinkles go away or et cetera? Okay. So that's a two-part question. So the scar, yeah. the scar issue, if the scar is fairly new, like just happened, mm -hmm. uh, or you've just had surgery, use the Saloma as often as you can, as soon as you can. That will really help prevent what's termed as keloiding, and that's when you, scars can become a little bit lumpy. So okay. um, you, you want to, so the sooner you can use the, the device, the better. If you have an old scar from either an injury or even older acne, that's really hard to deal with. Certainly using the Saloma, will volumize the tissue and it may make the scars appear a little less pronounced, but mm -hmm. some scarring actually still requires laser treatment at a dermatology or a surgeon's office. So the second part of the question is regarding the wrinkles. So um, red light therapy for treating wrinkles is supported by thousands of scientific uh, uh, research papers, including we did our own research. We had to do that in, uh, for wrinkles in order to get our FDA clearance for full face wrinkles. So we have before and after pictures, but more importantly, uh, what's happening at the cellular level is that it's increasing collagen and elastin by stimulating fibroblasts. So fibroblasts are the, uh, are the cells that live in our dermal layer, versus, well, they're in lots of places, but um, they produce the collagen and elastin fibers that help plump up our tissue. And as we age, we have less and less of the collagen and elastin being produced. So using Saloma to prevent and even maintain what you have and improve and even improve what you have is, um, is a really good idea. Okay, that's good. Yeah. We've got one more, but it says, can this help to tighten skin for example on the stomach so the same the same i don't have studies on that i don't have a case study i do have a few anecdotal um um stories that um, i probably actually have lots over 10 years of, of people using it in that manner but the mechanism of action is the same we have a full face wrinkle clearance <laughs> but the skin ages in the same manner all over the body so um the cells and the and the fibroblasts will still generate collagen and elastin wherever you place it on the body. And again, you have to have normal or not normal, but you have to have realistic expectations. Yeah. Um, this is not like going to, you know, for a 50 year old, this is not like going to your plastic surgeon and getting a facelift and three weeks later you look fabulous and they've removed a lot of sags and gels and things. <laughs> this is actually, this is actually more about healing from the inside out. So it's helping you maintain what you have. Like somebody like you that is fortunate enough to have been introduced to Saluma in your twenties. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, you know, with the right lifestyle choices and good food, you have the potential for you to have amazing skin right into your later years is tremendous. Mm -hmm. But at any age, Saluma is going to help those fibroblasts generate more collagen and elastin. So really, everybody will benefit to some degree, but you just have to have realistic expectations. Something like acne, though, is so such a visible condition that yeah. you can see such dramatic uh, changes. I mean, you are such a testimony for what's possible 
when it comes to treating acne. Yeah, thank you. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say? Or? No, this yeah. has actually gone longer than I would have expected. I think this was <laughs> tremendous. Great questions from everybody and good questions from you, uh, Alexina. I really appreciate you um, complimenting our customer service. And if people are very quick to pick holes in companies and in different things, you probably have that going on yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's, it's like people don't always focus on the good. And we've really made that huge effort um, uh, within the company to provide a really high level of customer service wherever you're, pla you're uh, based in the world. So thank you again for that. Appreciate well, it really it. shows, so thank well you. done, guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Perfect. So, where are you off to next? What wonderful um, location. I'm, I'm going to, well, I'm up north at my parents now, um, but I'm going down to London next week. I'm spending the week in London. And then I'm coming back to the US, so okay. back Good. home again. Yes. Good. Good. Well, we we look for we look forward to following your uh, wonderful <laughs> story and your wonderful lifestyle, and stay healthy and well. Thank you. You too. And also, yes. I'll save this to my profile so we can both okay. share it on on both sides. I've got to work out how to do that, but I'm sure it can't be that hard. <laughs> yeah, when, when you close it, because I've done lots of this, when you close it, it will ask you if you want to save your video, and then it will ask you for a title. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I'll do that. But don't forget to put Salona in there, and your name. Yes, will do. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much. This was just a joy. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, Denise. Right. Bye-bye.